Welcome. In front of me is a Techno Phantom V Flip. And today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before I get started, I'm going to quickly mention a couple of things. So based on the guide that I am doing this from on our website, uh, it is stated that we need an active SIM card. Now, I do have a SIM card, though I don't think it is active. And I guess we'll see if that has any kind of validity to it. Sometimes uh, you might not need exactly what's stated. So I, we'll test it out. Um, and second thing is uh, typically I would be showing you that the device is locked and uh, paid with the verification pattern and Google accounts and stuff like that. But here it looks like I just cannot progress further when the device is locked. I am connected to network as you can see and I can't do anything to go further. But you can see right here that we do have a lock icon that signifies that the device is locked. And uh, that being said, I'm not necessarily sure how someone is supposed to verify the account if they can't get to the verification page. So there might be a lot of people that need this guide right now. So um, to get started, you will want to progress forward through the setup till you get to this page right here and then connect to your network, which I have already done so. Once you are connected to your network, you're simply gonna press on the share uh, button, which is the QR code right here. I am gonna hover my hand as it does actually show up the QR code. And sometimes it also shows the password looking okay there's no password but anyway once you open up the qr code uh which can see it right here uh you have the nearby option right here so click on this and next we're gonna select turn on need help sharing there we go and once you have that selected you want to now click on the three uh three bars right there or three dots and select share article Select messages, new message, two. I'm just gonna slap any kind of random numbers because they don't matter. Next, we're gonna select this field right here and we're gonna get rid of everything that the device pasted in, which is the entire article. And next, in this field, you want to type in www.youtube.com. Now, it is very important you add the extension. I do want to point that out. And then looks like that's why we need the SIM card. We can't send it without a SIM card. So I'm gonna pop one in right now. <clears throat> there we go. So quickly verify the SIM card pin and now I can send it. And let's pop it out. As you can see, the message hasn't been sent to anyone. Uh, it does give me this uh, error right here. That doesn't really matter because what we are looking for is the link that we have created. Now we can click on this link and next we're gonna select open URL. And uh, from here, we want to navigate to, well, first select don't allow. We're gonna navigate to the account icon right at the top. Next, we're gonna select settings and then about from the very bottom and last thing we want to select in here is the google privacy policy and as you can see this opens up our uh, web browser now before you do anything make sure you click on the use without an account this is important as if you try to use uh, do that with an account it redirects you to the verification page which for some reason choose your search engine okay we're gonna select I guess whichever one okay no thanks and now at the top uh, you want to click on the search bar and we're going to navigate to hard reset info slash bypass like so if you need a moment to write this link down yourself pause the video Now in here, we're gonna scroll down and you're looking for the settings app. Click on this, this image and this will redirect you to the phone's settings app. And next in here, you simply want to navigate to app management. Next, you're gonna select the 
up a list from the very top. Choose Android Auto, so the second option right here, and then select Disable, Disable up, and we're gonna also force stop it. Okay. <clears throat> next, we want to go back to the app list, and next we're looking for Android Setup. So, next one below that, and here we're gonna just select force stop and OK. So we now have. Uh, disabled two applications. Next, we want to go back to the list right here. And now we're going to scroll down to Google Play Services. So right over here, Google Play Services, click on it. And again, disable, disable up for stop and OK. And once this is done, we're now going to go back to the main settings page right here. And what you want to do now is navigate to special features or functions, whichever one it is. Function, so special function. Click on it, then select accessibility and accessibility many and toggle it on and select allow. And as you can see, this adds this little button right here. Okay, so now that we have added all of these, we should be able to progress, hopefully, though um, I do want to point out one thing. Uh, this kind of guide would um, imply that we should be able to do this, well, get to the verification page. So i um, not necessarily sure how we're going to get there, to be honest. Anyway, um, so let's get going with it. Uh, I am going to follow the guide, uh, as I said. Now, I also want to clarify, at this point, this will be completely new, because at this point, this is a bit different than I would typically be expecting. So, uh, if I stagger at one point throughout the, the guide, just bear with me. I am kind of trying to figure it out, this out as I go along. Uh, so, you're seeing this be done basically well, kind of live. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, we're going to just back out. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, I do realize that I just shown QR code, which I previously tried to block anyway. Uh, so next thing that we want to do is we're gonna select our network. So we're gonna, okay, I'm gonna just hover over. And here we go, I'm going to select forget. Next we're gonna select back and connect any net, uh, Wi-Fi network instead. Okay, so apparently now we're just gonna go again forward and we're gonna connect to any network. So I was previously connected to the 5 gigahertz. I'm gonna select the other one right here uh, if I remember the password for it. So bear with me. No, uh, apparently it worked. Okay. Now it does state that a new menu will open up in 20 to 25 seconds, and it did actually. There we go. So uh, here, I'm gonna select that we have read and agreed to whatever. Next. Now we're gonna now select, uh, I presume, agree. Let's give it a moment. So in a second, we should have a page that allows us to copy apps and data. We're going to select don't copy once that shows up. Whenever it actually shows up. Just a few moments. A few moments have passed a few moments ago.
Ah, oh, finally, there we go. So here we're gonna select don't copy. Hopefully we don't need to wait another 10 minutes. Oh, right, so we actually won't get anything after this. So uh, right now, when it does this glitching, so checking for updates, just a second goes back to, for checking for updates. That's what we need to have. So next, what we're gonna do is click on the accessibility menu. We're gonna then select assistant and uh, this might need to be done kind of quickly. So we're gonna select assistant, nothing happened, uh, which is normal. Uh, so we will be repeating this several times. Now, <clears throat> once you select assistant, you then will have uh, at one point a page uh, with the settings option right here. Once that opens up, uh, then you're looking for the enable button from the app info page that we have chosen to disable apps and then first stop them. So you're just looking for the enable button somewhere here. Uh, so I just start getting through the settings. As you can see, it disappeared. Nothing happened. Can't really do anything with that. Nope, failed at that one. There we go. So as you can see, you need to be quick about it. Um, you can kind of like pre pre press the area that you know the button is located at to maybe try to get it. Uh, but anyway, once you enable it, it actually stays open, uh, which you can see right now. Uh, so once it stays open, we're just gonna go back right here, get rid of this. And as you can see, we are now on the next page. Uh, what you might realize is that we have right now skipped the verification portion of the device. That's usually where it would have been located. Uh, so what happens is when the device kind of doesn't have the access to uh, services, uh, it can't check the verification. So it tries to, it can't check it. Once you enable the uh, services, like we just did, it just kind of checks for the services at that point, realizes that it has them and just goes further without now checking the verification portion. So right now we can finish up the setup without verifying anything, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna select skip every place we can. And the last thing that we're gonna do once we have our, come on, once we have our home screen visible is we're gonna perform a factory reset of the device through settings. This will ensure that the device removes all the protection from itself. So in here, just simply navigate to the settings application, scroll all the way down to system, reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then confirm it by selecting erase all data for the last time, which like I mentioned, will perform a factory reset of the phone. Now, I do also want to point out a couple things for the keen eyed people. We could have technically gone through this uh, method when we opened up settings from the web browser, but the reason we haven't done that before, which like I'm saying right now, it does remove all the protection from the device. So you might wonder why we didn't do that before. And that is because when we have accessed the settings before, uh, the device was still in a setup process for the device, for the Android itself, uh, it would consider that it is a setup screen. Even though we glitched the device into settings and web browsers and stuff, uh, for what the device would think, it was in the setup process. So when performing a reset of the device, in this kind of uh, state where the device considers itself to be in the setup, it just goes back to being locked. It doesn't achieve anything. But once the device is set up, the setup is completed, which we have just done that, and you go through the reset, the device kind of checks, okay, the device is set up, there is no protection, so or no screen lock, which the protection and screen lock are kind of separated. Um, so when you go through the erase process, it just kind of goes, unlock the device, no screen lock, cool, I'm just gonna reset and remove everything which coincidentally also includes the Google accounts and well, verification methods that are still present on this device. Now, I'm not gonna be going through this reset on the video, at least not this one, um, as it's just a straight up reset of the device. But if you really want to see me go through this, uh, I will be just recording a uh, normal reset of this phone through settings, which will be a continuation after literally after this video so you can see me go through this i won't be really changing anything uh between those videos i'm just literally gonna repeat the steps and actually go through the reset so you can see it there anyway um now if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching